Hi, I'm Tim and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at a different kind of Breitling. Well, maybe not completely different, but definitely a different take on the Breitling Sports Watch, particularly the Breitling Pilot Watch. You're looking at Breitling's Sky Racer Raven. Now, this model was produced from 2009 to about mid-2011, and it represents a real dramatic departure from the Super Quartz style aerospace and the vintage style Navitimers. It's also a bit of a departure from the oversized Breitling proportions that many of us have come to know and either love or hate in the last decade. The bottom line is, at 43.5 millimeters, this stainless steel Sky Racer Raven wears remarkably well on an average size wrist. I'm going to start out there because inevitably with a watch, the first question you ask is, could I wear it? As much as we all agree that clocks are cool, you can't wear one on your wrist. And that goes for a lot of modern sports watches. So seeing how the 43 and a half wears on my 6.3 inch, 16 centimeter wrist right here should give you an idea of how it'll wear on yours. Now the lugs are pretty tightly curved. As you can see, they don't project very far beyond the bezel at all. So this one even wears a lot smaller than its stated size. I would say that compared to a 42 millimeter Royal Oak Offshore from Audemars Piguet, this actually feels like the smaller watch. But it's got a great wrist presence and it's got some visual diversity to it that starts at that beautiful sunburst, deeply guilloshade dial and works its way out to the unique rubberized bezel with metallic indexes and calibrations and numerals pointing through. So it's got a lot of intriguing design details that make it wear a little bit bigger than it is visually, even as it feels a little smaller than it is physically. So let's take a look at what this interesting hybrid of Breitling's techno look and reasonable proportions brings to the table. First and foremost, the Sky Racer Raven is a sportier, mechanical Breitling Pilot's chronograph. Now, we've all seen the Navitimer, but it is a bit of a vintage style, and for some, that's just too much of an acquired taste. If you haven't quite acquired that taste yet, you're looking at a contemporary sports reference. Now, the watch features an incredibly... I'm going to say animated dial. It's not busy because even from this distance, you can easily see where the hour indexes are. You can easily see the hour and the minutes hand. There's really no confusion here, and Breitling even does its part to clean it up with a bicompax dial that's bilaterally and vertically symmetrical. And you can see that it's really not too crowded in terms of subdials because Breitling pulls a cool trick. You've got minutes, radial minutes, running with the chronograph right here in addition to chronograph seconds. So you've got radial minutes and radial seconds, but you've also got a mono counter right here at nine o'clock with 12 hours and 60 minutes. So you've got minutes where you can read it easily, such as when you're under duress, maybe while trackside watching a motor race or even in a cockpit operating an aircraft. And then for reference, you've got that mono counter right there. So you can look in one spot, get hours and minutes. So you can get seconds and minutes from the center cannon pinion and you can get hours and minutes from the subdial at 9 o'clock. Now this is a Breitling flight watch, so you're going to get the Breitling circular slide rule as made famous by the Navitimer. You can see the little pinion right there, so that the inner dial actually moves a little bit faster than the outer bezel as per the logarithmic calibration. It's a very useful flight calculator. It's also great for calculating exchange rates, calculating the tips at restaurants. There are a lot of different uses for this thing, and once you get handy with it, you'll find that you can actually beat friends who are hammering their way through the iPhone calculator. It's a fun trick, and you'll kind of be part of a dying art, because there are a few outside of military aviation circles who still know how to use these things. And this watch does come with a little tutorial on the slide rule. Not just a tutorial booklet, there's also a computerized version on Breitling.com that you can use. And if you want just a little bit of a better visual aid, Breitling even includes a larger cardboard version of the slide rule with the watch so you can practice before you try it out for real at your next dinner. And the bottom line is this watch will give you a lot to show off at that dinner because its style is so unique. From a distance, this doesn't immediately read as a Breitling. Oh, it's cool, it's technical, and it's eye-catching, but I don't think Breitling for Bentley. I don't think Navitimer. I don't think Aerospace. I don't think Super Ocean when I see it. The Sky Racer Raven really has its own identity, and a big part of that is this rubberized bezel. It's a lot easier to grip than the metal ones. Not only does it have that fun, almost gummy, tactile feel, but it has these beautiful metal numerals, indexes, and calibrations projecting through the rubber to give it almost a, a kind of glowing luster. You've got that matte black of the rubber, and then you can see at the angle I'm holding it how those metal indexes, numerals, and calibrations just kind of light up and glow at any angle. 
it's really intriguing and it's it's quite beautiful. Honestly, this watch has a lot of subtlety to it that kind of took me aback because right off the bat, I don't necessarily expect that from Breitling. Notice the frame date at 6 o'clock. With a beautiful polished metal frame, there's a bit of visual interest there. It's also consistent with the design of the polished indexes at the hour track, and it's a nice way of finishing something that could otherwise be just a, a sort of ugly aperture in the dial, just a hole showing you the date disc. They do a great job of framing it and adding a little depth to it, and that's quite beautiful and quite thoughtful. Just like this gorgeous, deeply grained guilloche expanding sunburst pattern adds a lot of dynamism to the dial. With an applied Breitling logo and wings at 12 o'clock, Breitling really didn't cut any corners in the production here. The dial is deeply guilloche You can see things like the date are framed. You can see that the indexes are applied. The logo is applied. It's a complicated watch, not just a chronograph, but one that's really been cleaned up with the mono counter, the center minutes. This is a very unusual watch in the Breitling catalog, and it's capped off by these interesting rubber inset chronograph pushers. I really can't say enough about how this watch differs from standard Breitling fare. So if you love the history of Breitling, if you love the idea of a highly technical everyday watch, but you just can't wrap your mind around a 49 millimeter case or a watch that's designed to you know, blind you from 500 meters away, this Breitling Sky Racer Raven, a chronograph, a chronometer, a pilot's watch, a 200 meter water resistant ocean companion, if you like, especially on this gorgeous Breitling natural rubber strap, this really is the do it all timepiece. And while it's got splashes of red and light lime colored loom and blue and white and silver on the dial, it's not a party watch. Everything here is discreet and tastefully done. You could wear it with a suit. And again, your trump card there is that beautiful rubber-coated bezel that really subdues the whole thing. While the case is polished, the matte strap and the matte bezel really counterweight it. And again, if you do have an average or smaller wrist, this could be the Breitling that works for you. I know that this Sky Racer Raven is one of the few Breitlings that's really gotten me excited personally. One of the few references that I've mentally footnoted is something that, you know, just might be in my future someday. Although I'm a JLC collector, I gotta say that this has been one of the most intriguing Breitlings that I've reviewed personally, both technically and aesthetically. It's a different one. It's not one you see too often. The Sky Racer Raven, compared to the Navitimers, the Super Oceans, it's a comparative rarity. And this one's available with all boxes and papers, all original accessories, everything you would have received from the Breitling Boutique or authorized dealer when this watch was new comes with it. And let me tell you, this watch looks the part. Not only is it different, not only is it attractive, but you're basically getting this watch tabula rasa, everything including that little slide rule tutorial and the mini cardboard example so you can practice at home comes with this watch and you can see it all in high resolution imagery on our website watchyouwant.com.